So it's January 12th. I think that it's rained like nine out of the 12 days since it's been 2021. I honestly don't know if I can go another day or two without seeing the sun. Also, in case you were wondering, it is not morning. It's after three o'clock and um, we're having another cup of coffee because it's dark and it's rainy and I'm sad. <sighs> Cheers to week three. Week three already of Veganuary, guys. So here we are and Obviously by the title, we're gonna be talking about some dairy today. And more importantly, how to swap out your everyday dairy products. But I basically just wanted this video to be helpful for anybody in case they didn't know that there was plenty of other options when it comes to milk, butter, yogurt, ice cream, cheese, etc. So hopefully this is helpful for you guys and let's go ahead and get started. First things first, non-dairy milk. Like, it's 2021, what are you still doing drinking cow's milk? But seriously, there are so many other options now and they are cleaner, healthier, same price point. If you have any sort of allergy, like there are so many varieties at every grocery store I've gone into. There is almond milk, soy milk, coconut milk, oat milk, hemp milk, macadamia nut milk, cashew milk, flaxseed milk, hazelnut milk, and so on. There are so many. Even coffee shops will have at least two options. Sometimes they have more. Like I know Starbucks carries almond, coconut, and soy milk. Um, a lot of Starbucks's are even starting to carry oat milk. I know Dunkin' Donuts carries oat milk now. That one is just the easiest switch to make in my opinion. There is bound to be some flavor of nut milk or non-dairy milk that you will end up enjoying. As far as your coffee creamer goes, that's another one that has gotten very easy to find. Oatly is probably one of the more popular ones that you'll see, especially in coffee shops. It'll um, be called like barista blend. Silk has creamers, Califia Farms, So Delicious, Coffee Mate, Nut Pods is my personal favorite right now. Um, there's like maybe five ingredients in it and it's just an oat creamer. Oh, Trader Joe's, I believe, has a coffee creamer as well. For butter, my personal favorite is Miyoko's. It comes in unsalted and salted, depending on if you wanna bake with it or not. Um, it will come in stick form, which is also great for baking. I believe they recently came out with a more spreadable one that is made with oat. And then the more popular one that you might find a little bit more than Miyoko's is Earth Balance. They have different flavors. They have the whipped spreadable kind and they also have it in stick form as well if you're baking or doing anything like that. When it comes to yogurt, I was never a yogurt type of person before I went vegan. So I just never really liked the flavor of that sour milk. And I find that even a lot of the vegan ones tried to attempt that flavor for some reason so even the vegan ones i'm not like a huge fan of if i had to pick one i would definitely go with silk i feel like it's not very sour tasting i just feel like i don't really have a necessity for it in my diet i don't really enjoy it as like a breakfast food or anything like that so um if you like yogurt there are multiple brands there is one called forager so delicious, Kite Hill, Good Karma, and Silk. Alrighty, on to ice cream. Everybody loves ice cream. And luckily, this is another one that, I mean, even Target has an abundance of non-dairy ice creams. So big brands like Haagen-Dazs, Ben & Jerry's, Breyers. There is So Delicious. Talenti has a few. Oatly came out with their own ice cream. Halo Top has some and even Trader Joe's has a non-dairy ice cream option as well. I feel like as the years go on, these items just keep getting better and better. A local ice cream spot in Wilmington is Boombalati's. They have the best vegan ice cream. Definitely look them up on Instagram and try out Boombalati's. Cheese is something that is definitely taking some time to grow 
with the plant-based alternatives but I feel like it's all about your perception and if you go in with trying something and having the expectation that it has to taste exactly like something else you're gonna be disappointed every time it can definitely be better but there are options that do the job if this is something that you truly truly care about one of the higher up brands of cheese is Miyoko's. Again, it's cleaner ingredients. I do feel like their mozzarella is really good. It melts really good on like grilled cheese. The Daya cheese is not my favorite at all. It's probably the cheapest, most affordable option, but I do feel like it's a little gummy. The Follow Your Heart cheese is okay. I've had that. There's a brand called Chow. There's a brand called Parmela Creamery that you could find at Whole Foods usually. Whole Foods 365 brand has come out with their own cheese. I have not tried it yet. There's a brand called Siete that makes really good queso. They make like a white cheddar and also just the regular cheddar. Um, and there's a brand that Costco and Target sells of plant-based queso. And it comes in like a pretty decent size container and if you microwave that and dip it with like tortilla chips it truly does taste exactly like Tostitos queso or any of those other ones. There is also a brand called Kite Hill. They make the best raviolis. They like hide the raviolis I swear at Whole Foods. They're in this like secret spot um, in the cheese aisle like in the back corner and they're like hidden up there and if you ever get your hands on those you will not regret it. They are so good. And then lastly for cheese, I also have a brand on here called Via Life, which I know a lot of people really like that brand. I like was never like the diehard cheeseaholic that a lot of people truly are addicted to. So that wasn't as hard for me. I do love pizza and everything like that, but I don't know. I just, I did not have that hard of a time switching because I didn't have it in like my everyday like multiple meals needs to have cheese on top so I do feel for you if you're somebody that's like truly addicted to it it has very addictive qualities and I hope that it keeps getting better and better so that way more people find an easier job transitioning to the plant-based version. Lastly I thought I would throw whipped cream in here because I don't know I just feel like everybody has it at one time or another and it's just good to know that there is an option if you want to buy whipped cream you can get a non-dairy form of it so ready whip has a couple different flavors i think they have like an almond milk and a coconut milk version um i have tried them they taste exactly the same so ready whip i mean this stuff isn't healthy but i know you're not having whipped cream to be healthy so i just felt like i had to say that there's also this new um, I guess they're kind of like an alternative to Cool Whip, but it's called True Whip, T-R-U. Um, and then So Delicious makes a coconut whip, which are, I've, I've tried the coconut whip, it's good. And then the True Whip I have not tried, so I'm not sure how good that is. There is alternatives to heavy whipping cream, so I know Silk makes one, and I know they sell it at Target, I'm not sure if I've seen at like Whole Foods or at a regular grocery store. But if you live near Target, like they are starting to really include plant-based vegan alternatives to their aisles when it comes to all sorts of dairy. So definitely check it out where you live and you might be surprised. If I missed any that you know, definitely comment below and I would love to check them out and try them. I'm always open to trying new brands. I know dairy can be something like really hard to transition out of, but it is possible. And like I said in my first video, you can compartmentalize. You don't have to drop everything the same day. Try it out at your own pace and you might surprise yourself and like certain ones better. Again, I hope that this video was helpful for you. Thank you guys for hanging out with me. That is all I have for you for week three. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and you'll get notified when I post week fours. If you have any recommendations on things that you are interested in seeing, definitely let me know and I'll be really excited to make it. I hope you have a beautiful day.